Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize the performance of metahumans in your project. This doesn't only apply to metahumans, uh, but metahumans specifically have this problem, um, especially if you have a lower end PC, um, you're going to have some performance issues, especially when you're developing. So you can use this methodology for your other projects as well. Um, and I thought I'd make this quick one since I'm going to be doing a lot of other projects using MetaHumans as well. So I have a third person template project open in Unreal Engine 5.2. Uh, pretty much, I'm pretty sure it'll work in any Unreal Engine 5 version. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go to Quixel Bridge and we're going to add a MetaHuman into our project. One quick note whenever you're importing MetaHuman is that it is always the highest quality is the only option that it provides. Um, and I'm going to show you what that um, implicates for our project. So I'm just going to add it to my project right here. All right, once you have your MetaHuman imported into your project, I'm just going to go ahead and open my the tray folder and add the blueprint into my scene. Right, once that's done, you'll see that the metahuman is in the project. Now, um, what happens is that uh, one of the things that takes a lot of processing and performance power is the resolution of the textures used in the model. So you can see uh, with the metahuman, it's very high quality. And a lot of the times you don't actually need 8K resolution textures for the game that you're making or for the movie or whatever it is that you're making. Um, you don't need 8K resolution, even you don't need 4K resolution a lot of the time, especially if it's like a background scene or something like that. Um, and even if you are <clears throat> developing for a AAA movie scene or a short film or anything like that, you want to at least reduce the resolution uh, while you're developing so it doesn't hinder your computer and slow it down. So the way we can do that is we can go into Tools and we're going to go into Audit and we're going to say click on Statistics. And it's going to open this window right here. And on the top left, you see it's showing primitive stats right now. We're going to change that to texture stats. So once you have the texture stats open, there is a field called max dimensions, as you can see here. And you can see that a lot of the um, textures for the metahuman are in 8K um, dimension, 4K, 8K. And all of this um, is really unnecessary, especially when you're developing. So if you lower this, it's going to improve your uh, performance dramatically um, and your computer is not going to lag or anything, especially when you're developing. So let's go ahead and change all of this. One quick note is that it's common practice to keep the resolutions to the power of two. Um, the reason being that uh, all these things are stored in memory and the memory of a computer works in the power of two as well. So 256, 512, 1024, 2048, and then 8192. Um, so if you don't do power of two, nothing especially will go wrong, but you're just misusing the memory of the computer. So I'm going to lower all my resolutions for the metahuman to 512 when I'm developing. And then later on, if I want to, I can increase it. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to minimize this one. So I'm going to go into the, um, content browser. I'm going to go into the metahumans folder. And what I want to do is I want it to show me all the textures that the metahuman is using. The, the way you do that is you click on this uh, filter icon here and you click on texture and this will just show the textures, all the textures that are in this folder. So as you can see now, I have access to all the textures. I can click all of them right now. I can click on one of them and then do control A or command A if you're on a Mac. And then I'm going to right click, go to asset actions, and I should see a bulk edit via property matrix. So I'm going to click on that. It'll open this window here. And now I have all the different textures all listed here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click all of them. I want to choose all of them. Again, I'm going to press control A. And in the property editor here, I'm going to search for max dimensions. And you can see the max texture size right here. And instead of having multiple values, I'm going to make all of them be 512 and I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to take a few seconds because it's changing all the texture sizes at the same time. Okay. So now that that's done, 
I can go back into the, uh, I'm going to do a save here. I'm going to go uh, back into the scene in a second once the saving is done. Okay, so now I'm going to again go to Tools, Audit, and then Statistics. And you'll see that all the um, all the assets that are specific to the MetaHuman all have a size of 512 now. And now you'll you'll see that it's it's much more smoother whenever you're developing your computer won't lag as much and um whenever if you want to turn it back to 4k or um something like that you can do it at the end of the at the end of your development life cycle as well um this also solves a common error that you will see whenever you're working with a lot of textures um, which is the um, texture streaming pool error um, you'll see like a red arrow here saying that you're it's exceeding your streaming pool um your texture streaming pool limit so this will solve that as well because you reduce the size of your textures so i hope this is helpful it'll be it's very good whenever you're using assets from the marketplace specifically uh ones that are very high resolution you can kind of bring them down to easier development uh, i hope this was helpful and thanks for watching